My name is Jill and I'm going to be your tax lecturer to help you to deal with the Finance Act 23 and to get you through your TX UK exams. A little bit about myself. I have been a tax lecturer since the year 2000 and prior to that I worked in practice as a tax manager. Um, I've taught TX and ATX and uh, for ACCA and I've taught um, ICAW, CTA, and AAT and ATT, so a variety in the years. Um, I have prepared the manual that you're going to be using for your um, uh, learning and your revision, uh, but I would suggest that you also get a BPP um, kit where, with the revision kit and the pocket notes. Um, that will help you later on in the course to um, practice the, the knowledge that we're, I'm going to be taking you through that we're going to, um, to learn. So, as I said, I have prepared the manual. Um, to the best of my knowledge, there are no errors in it. If, however, you find one, if you could please let me know. Also, if you have issues, something you perhaps don't understand, or something you'd like some clarification over, will you please put it on Ask the Tutor Notice Board, and then I can I can see that. Um, normally gets seen um, every day, if not every two or three days, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with those. And obviously, if you do find an error, then we need to know so that we can put it right um, for everybody else or make sure everybody else is aware of it. OK, so why are we here? We are here to help you to get through this TX UK exam using the Finance Act 2023. This will be for exams between June 2024 and March 2025. If you're the first timer and you're here for the first time, this is all very new to you, you're welcome. Okay, if you are a returner because for some reason you didn't quite pass it the first time, then you will have used Finance Act 22. Now the syllabus for this year, the Finance Act 23, has considerable changes to it. Um, changes in the basis periods, changes in corporation tax, um, there are lots of different rules that you would need to learn. So if you are um, a retake, please get rid of everything that's Finance Act 22, even your BPP kits. You'll need new kits um, because the rules have changed. Um, and obviously we're going to go through those as we do this. So the aim of this course is to develop your knowledge and skills relating to the UK tax system only. Um, you're going to do three main areas, individuals, single companies and groups of companies. Now, the objective of this course. So when you have completed this paper, um, you will be able to. So this is what you need to pass your exam. And with my help and your learning, we're going to do this. So we're looking this first section here, explain the operation scope of the tax system, the obligation of taxpayers and or their agents and the implication of non-clients. Now, a lot of that is very dry. And several chapters in the contents page reflect with this. So the self-assessment for companies and individuals. NIC because that basically that's maths um, and chapter one uh, the first chapter are not recorded um, they are basically just information chapters um, which you can self-study and, and read yourselves um, they explained this operation and scope so how the tax system works um, what happens what you have to do and what happens when you don't do it um, Mostly that will be uh, tested as part of the multiple choice questions. You're unlikely to get anything big on that. That's all going to be very small sections or maybe two marks in a section B or section C question. Then you have to, these different here, explain, that's words. And this is numbers. Make sure when you look at an exam question, that you follow the question. If it asks you to explain, then they want the rules. 
and the implication of those rules as they affect the individual or company within the scenario of the question. If it's asking you to compute, then you need to do maths. Okay. And as we go through, you will see the pro forma, the layout. These layouts are very specific and you need to learn them. Uh, very specific because that's what the revenue expect. That's what the examiner who's written the paper expects and the marker is looking for. That's what the model answer will show. So pro forma is very, very important. So we will look at income tax for individuals. As I say, NIC is basically maths. Um, and when we go through the tax tables, I'll explain a bit more about that. But that's basically maths. Now, there are th uh, three areas, employees, employers, the people who are employing the people and the self-employed, various chapters that go with that. Same thing for corporation tax, both for individual companies and for groups of companies. Capital gains tax for individuals and for companies. Rules are slightly different for those. Some of the rules do cross over um, and you will see them again and you will hear them. As I say, you need to read the chapters and watch the chapters in order. Um, otherwise, it won't make much sense. Um, inheritance tax. That's only for individuals and VAT. OK, for both incorporated. So those are your five main areas. Income tax, corporation tax, capital gains tax, inheritance tax and VAT. All of them very important. OK, so this TX um, paper fits within. So this uh, TX paper fits within the whole uh, syllabus that you've got. It is very important um, that you understand tax as part of your job. You may not do tax all the time, but your clients, at the end of the day, when your client brings in all their records, what they're bothered about is what tax they're going to pay at the end of the day. So this is a very important unit to make you a, a fully rounded um, um, accountant. So we've got various different topics there that we've discussed um, and that's how it kind of fits in um, with everything else. And you'll need to understand that um, uh, in order to be able to, to pass your qualification. So let's look at the uh, syllabus in more detail. So as I said to you before, the UK tax system and its administration, these are the um, self-study chapters. Um, and you need to look at the function and the purpose of, the, of taxation within the modern economy. So obviously tax is the main source by which governments raise funds in order to be able to pay out for councils, for roads, for the um, health service, for, um, for all sorts of services. Uh, it basically, that's their income in order to be able to pay the expenses of running the country. Um, there are sources of revenue law and practice. Tax, if everybody paid their tax on time, for the correct amount, then that wouldn't be necessary to have laws. But the legal system is very involved within the tax system. Now, thankfully, you don't need to know too much about that at this stage, but you'll need to know the basics of who the revenue are, what they do, what's available to help you to learn how to do tax, all of those sort of things and how the tax system is organized and structured. Um, then self-assessment, when has your return got to be in? Uh, what the time limits are? There you go. Time limits, submission of information, what you have to claim, when you have to pay it, uh, payments on account, which is, um, we will discuss that. Um, that's one of the things we will discuss. Um, compliance checks, appeals and disputes. That is where the revenue will look into somebody's tax affairs. Uh, to see whether they are complying or uh, doing what's right. A compliance check is to check that everything's going okay. You're not hiding anything, that sort of thing. You can then appeal and there are disputes. There are people that goes backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. 
you say one thing as a, for the client, revenue say another, and at some point somebody will agree. Um, how that works, only the basics. Um, penalties for non-compliance, make sure you know that. That is important because that's normally um, questioned in the multiple choice. And ethics, very important if you're going to be um, an accountant. So income tax and NIC, we will look at the scope of this. So employment, so that means you have a job and you receive a salary. You may have some benefits such as a car and there may be some expenses that you can claim. That sort of thing we will discuss in detail. Self-employed, which means you work for yourself. So you will have income. What expenses can you claim? When do you pay your tax? Tax is diff it's, it's the same amount, but it, it's paid differently. Um, property and investments. So if you put money into um, a bank or into a building society or some sort of savings um, or even pensions, all of that um, we will cover. Uh, then the computation. As I said, computation is very important. Bringing everything together in one computation to work out the total income what you can claim on that total income and then how we work out the tax very structured make sure you follow the structure that's given both in the exam kits the um, textbooks and um, in the lectures because that's what the examiner is expecting that's what the marker has in front of him and you want your paper to look like the model answer nic and then what exemptions and re deferrals, reliefs you can do to minimise that. That's the link between TX and advanced tax, um, because in advanced tax, you will do more of that um, area of this. So we'll do the basics of what you can and can't do. That's for income tax. Corporation tax. What is the scope? Who's involved? Who's not involved? TTP. That is the taxable profits. Now, that would be income from trade, perhaps, maybe income from property. So we're getting things that are crossing over here. Uh, gains, um, interest. Again, we've got gains there. Now, they're all brought together in one computation, one computation um, with all the income just like a, an individual, all the income and then the expenses that we can claim, uh, any reliefs we can claim to work out corporation tax. And again, that's changed slightly this year, so we'll have different rules to learn. And again, if just to repeat, if you are a retaker and you did this under Finance Act 22, get rid of all of that and start all over again, I'm afraid, because the rules are different. And again, exemptions and reliefs. And what happens if we've got a group? Because that makes things different if there's more than one company all kind of linked together. Uh, chargeable gains. What is chargeable gains and what are the capital items that you might be taxed on? The principles of gains and losses, how we compute those, how we work them out. Um, these are called chattels. Lots of technical terms you will learn during the course. Um, use the technical terms, please. What happens if we have shares? Because they are quite unique when it comes to capital gains. Again, a computation bringing everything together. What exemptions you can claim. Reliefs to defer and minimise any tax. And there are a lot for that. There's a lot of reliefs for, um, for that topic. Then in IHT, again, transfer of value. There are two, three types. They're either exempt, they're a PET, or a CLT. And we will learn what all of those various different things mean. Lifetime giving. People give during their lifetime of large inheritance figures. And what happens when somebody dies? And how that tax um, is related to that. Exemptions, and again, how that tax is paid. And the final one, VAT. So how do we register? How do we deregister? What happens with all of those various different things? How do we work out VAT? Output VAT, input VAT, all the reliefs, cars, all of those things, and then some special schemes. Uh, there are two or three of the special schemes that within this course, 
and they're only available to some businesses, not to all businesses. This is all new, your employability. So can you use computer technology? Most of you can, not an issue, um, to access, manipulate relevant information. If you work in tax, you will be using a computer to com work out people's uh, liabilities. Um, options, functions of technology as they would be in the workplace. Obviously, when you do your exams, you'll navigate windows and computer screens. Um, to, um, to It says there, create and amend your responses to exam requirements using the appropriate tools. You'll need to practice a lot of this online, and ACCA do have a great online um, web page where you can do that and practice it. Okay, so the exam. I know this is right at the beginning of the course, okay, but at the end of the day, you need to pass an exam. So we talk about the exam right at the beginning, just so that it doesn't kind of phase you. Uh, it's three hours. It's computer based. OK, it has computational. If you remember rightly, that's the numbers. Ooh, discursive. That means words. You are discussing a situation and explaining. That would be rules and the implication of rules. So we have rules and you will learn a lot of rules the impact of those rules and the numbers is then the application of those rules and what the, what tax we end up with. Um, section A is 15 objective test questions, two, two marks each, multiple choice, marked by a computer. It's either right or it's wrong. And whatever's in that little box or whatever you've been asked to put in or whatever you've been asked to tick, the computer will mark that, um, so any markings, any workings wouldn't be applicable, but I still need you to do those to make sure you're getting the right answer. So section B, three questions, okay, three questions, each of which includes five of these objective test or multiple choice questions. Some of those will be calculation ones, but again, it's marked by a computer. So it's either right or it's wrong. And then section C, one 10 mark and two 15 mark constructed response. You have a blank page, you have to write things down. So the sort of things that you're gonna get in there, adjusting profits for sole traders or for a company, capital allowances for an individual or a company, um, IHT or CGT, benefits, employment, all of those pro formers that we're going to go through through the course, they will turn up in this. And obviously each chapter that I've uh, uh, we've written has an exam focus at the end to try and get you to, to see how this fits into um, to what you are doing. Okay, so let's get started.